yeah, this is probably not the best um, viewing um, for your viewing pleasure type video, but uh, it was, yeah, I've just, I don't know what the hell I was supposed to like actually show because I was like, well, I don't want to also do the, I wanted to get away from the Bebop uh, C6 um, mobile camera. Don't worry if you're a fan of that, it's going to happen again, I'm sure. Um, but I will start with this because, gosh, I really like it. Uh, like I said, it's the stylized version of my, uh, oh, you can see it, the um, Prussian Logistical Core uh, letterhead. So all I've done, like I said, I just altered it a little bit. And it's kind of WW1 in Morse code, but the spacing, I guess, is not the right uh, bit. But I was like, okay, I'll, I'll insert it a little bit. So, you know, I'll break it up and whatnot. And I was like uh, was trying to figure out all kind of, any combination of five, with five letters, but... In the end, I was like, you know what, it kind of looks nice with just the three letters. And, um, yeah, I'll have to start firing off some puppies and um, so I can start using it for some, uh, well, my real stuff. It would be great. Anyways, this is about, primarily, about, uh, well, um, Meandering Mike making a comment when we were watching uh, some of Callendale's playthroughs. And Callendale was... Um, uh, doing this the technique of um, or viewing the fact that sometimes uh, the way he was doing recombinations or something and um, also that certain units would disappear uh, just based on the schedule and so on and so forth he was always uh, attempting to um, almost throw troops in even like into a combat even if uh, you know you didn't really need to do it it was more just uh, that he didn't need to do it. It was just more that he wanted to use up. He just felt like he was um, wasting uh, these um, 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 leftover bit replacement units. Uh, bit. So, excuse me. I'm trying to drink coffee before it cools down because I'm not. Um, I'm, I don't like it uh, reheated, um, and I'm not into ice stuff. Uh, that crap. Not crap. Sorry. If you like it, you like it. Um, so, uh, Meandering Mike had mentioned, okay, so maybe there's some way of converting them into supply points, so that way Callendale could, you know, s use them and, and get away from that type of thing. And, you know, oh, darn it, this is one of the things I love about uh, interacting with people is, and I would love to chit, this is stuff, man, that I just absolutely love talking about it inside my head so to be able to talk about it with other people is wonderful uh it i haven't spoken to him in my god decades and there's i'd have to get a private detective to locate him but uh the person that i hung out with quite a bit at the very beginning of university uh, uh dave um dave perry uh my god him and i if if he was into this i don't know if he would be but um if he would have been, uh, we would have, I mean, well, I know we would have spent hours and days and just ridiculous amounts of time going through all these little, oh, we would have had massive debates. Oh, oh my God. Anyways, here I am. I'm kind of doing it. You know what I mean? Just, you get it. Um, so anyways, here we go. So what I wanted to do, well, obviously, is try to figure out a way of, you know, and talking about it and see if it works or not and it was nice because Mandarin Mike was like okay you've got to just based on the way he was saying it's like you can't just okay it's going to be one third one whatever you, you got to think about things you just you know and you got to play it out and whatever but I also okay here's my objective so hopefully you can read it like what, what where where am I going here I was like okay well I want something that's easy to use I don't want to spend 300 years like none of my crazy ass combat uh, thing there with the sock and the it was fine but good god excuse me um i want to have something that kind of makes sense kind of let's be honest uh you're talking with uh, the way i've been doing things here uh fits in with what uh much of what uh dave schroeder um does i'm thinking more numbers wise yet again and goes back to the easy to use so i'm thinking okay thirds he likes thirds i like thirds um, and also the twos and the fours because of the counterattack and the, um, uh, um, yeah, the counterattack and the, and the attack. And I also like the idea when I looked at the uh, combat results table here for 1914 to 1916. Maybe I would have to change it. Oh, eh? 
later on. Maybe it would become more efficient. Interesting. Anyways, there's other things to think about. So I wanted to get a 100% chance. Oh, I'm just so effing lucky. It's an 8. 100% uh, chance that um, uh, the person would get one hit uh, with the defender um, across, broken ter uh, across broken terrain. And it's an 8. I was like, yeah. I was just like, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so anyways, uh, what else? So let's go down a little road here. Uh, only Army, Army HQs, like Mandarin Mike was mentioning, perfect. I mean, let's be honest. Core HQs have to be reined in, holy moly. Um, I'm going with this number, and we'll see what happens down here. Yeah, I like it. So three replacement points per army, HQ per month. So it takes you about, and this is a lot of, think about what you're doing here, man. Uh, okay, it's obviously, you can't be converting people into whatever. But look, let's look at all, uh, all the intricacies of what you're doing. God, did, I never thought about though at the very, very, very beginning when I was coming up with the, uh, like the first numbers I was throwing out. Man, and Mike's like, holy moly, dude, you better take a look at actually the reality of what a, a strength point is, like it's uh, compared to a supply point. A supply point is like a one-off. Uh, the strength points can linger around for a long time. They can do some amazing things even if you never supply them. Um, you know, I was like, yeah, you're right. Okay, so, um, Army HQs cannot move during the conversion. Army HQs can never be in an enemy zone of control during the conversion. Now let's take a look at the at the at the numbers now. So one replacement point would then uh, equal eight supply points. And if I'm allowing the Army HQ to uh, convert three replacement points uh, into um, uh, supply points, that would be twenty four supply points per month. All right. Uh, one supply point. Um, at, at this point in, in normal rules, we're going that way, obviously. Uh, four strength points, you, uh, ca it, it can supply four strength point, points for an attack, or it can supply two strength points for a counterattack. Therefore, eight supply points uh, can supply 32 strength points for an attack, or 16 strength points for a counterattack. And that means in a month, I don't know if you can see it, I think so, I'll just push it up a little. So that means in a month, uh, an army HQ could convert three replacement points and that would turn into 24 supply points and that could uh, uh, supply 96 strength points for an attack or 48 strength points for a counterattack. So I'm just saying, uh, it's nice that, uh, you know, now there's some actual real numbers to take a look at and go, okay, does this make sense? Um, it also shows me on a side note, two things. One, how much I have squ have squandered supply points uh, throughout this game. It was a learning experience. And secondly, it's showing me as this learning experience how, in a way, there's this weird balance uh, with the game of Dave Schroeder saying, okay, you've got supply, you've got to use it, um, or you get into trouble. The game, well, you could lose the game. And also, hoarding enough at the right time and place to do it oh my oh my and then of course you've got that other flip side that you're playing with a real uh, another person if it's you know you're not playing solo and they know what you're up to in a way and you've got to try to hide that which happened in real life they were doing all kinds of crazy stuff i didn't i just found out last week actually and i should have clued in from watching movies that uh, the majority of troops were uh, brought into the front um um, at night, so that way to mask, uh, you know, specific movements or what the hell you were actually doing for the air, or make, make it more difficult, all this stuff, and, you know, it just, once I started, once I read that bit, everything flows back, I, I don't know if it happens with you, now I'm like, oh yeah, that scene, that scene, that scene, that scene, or that passage in the book, now I understand why the, you know, they were talking about, um, like, with the whiz bangs and what, uh, Woodbine's book, uh, you know, like, oh, if that person hadn't had breakfast yet or it was about to, you know, I was like, whoa, what's going on here? Now it makes sense. Anyways, that's it. I think what else I'm going to do now? I'll let this digest in my head. Uh, and then I'm going to do, uh, 
a filming of the pocket battles. Originally I was going to do the one that uh, that was on the table that I used for the community tab post. However, uh, this is going to be more just to show, like I'm pretending I'm going to be talking, well I'm going to be, the, fi the, the video will be me pretending that I'm at Can Games talking to people who have never played the bloody game before. And I think what I'll do is I'm just going to do, well, well, you'll find out later. I'm just going, I'm going to shorten the size of the army. Um, right now, what you saw on the table and on the community tab image was um, an 80 point army for each side. Uh, I'll drop it down to 60. It just makes it a bit more manageable for a playthrough. It won't be as long, but I still, you still get a fair amount of decision making. Uh, well, you'll see how it works later. All right, that's it. Um, and the counters are done for, I just have to paint the, the backs for the Tannenberg counters, like all the Russian ones are done. Well, for one game, I'm going to do the second game. Um, it's like I know this for a fact. I, the odds of anybody even signing up for the game are like, like next to nil, but it's, it's yeah, yeah, at least I got to do it. I mean, it's given back to the freaking people. And you never know, man. I, uh, for example, I did, you know, I ran an eight player Patoli game years ago. Uh, yes, eight. And, um, did not expect anybody to sign up for that, and uh, I can remember saying to Zoe, what the hell? And so you never know. Um, yeah, alright, I uh, hope you have a good Sunday, see ya.